Hi guys, it's Amy, Crochet Club. I have missed you guys so much and we haven't met in a very long time. So I thought, you know, it's, the weather's getting better. Let's take some time and start, you know, planning some more gatherings. Um, I've been working on um, some crazy, crazy amount of baskets. And so I just had to show you. Uh, this project is supposed to be set up to go through your um, scraps. You know, it's a scrap buster, but I had so much in my stash that I thought let's really kick out some of these baskets, make it a stash buster. So I'm not very creative and I really got stuck. Um, but then once I saw this color pattern, it just opened up uh, my eyes and I started digging through my stash like crazy. So I constantly have new baskets being started. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show them to you and maybe this will spark some energy in their crochet brains and we can start meeting again. Um, so this was the very first one that I made. Um, and there are lots of videos out there on YouTube. Uh, it's a very, very basic pattern. You start with a circle, whether you do the magic ring or a chain of four and then join. Um, and then you do eight in circle and then you do two on each one of those. And then you do two, one, two, one, two, one. And then you do a row of two twos and then a row of two threes. So you're increasing each time. Um, and then some of these I stopped at 72 in stitches. Some of them I made bigger and went up to 80. Um, so this was the round version. And this was the first color grouping that I went with. And it's kind of muted. There's some yellows. That sun's coming through pretty great. Um, but some greens and blues and yellows. And um, I absolutely loved it. And then along the top here, um, I did a little crab border. It's a little reverse single crochet stitch. Um, you skip some stitches here and then chain across to make the handle. And there you go. You've got yourself a basket. I whipped it out in, you know, a day and a half or something like that, just in between watching TV and stuff. So that was the first one. And as you can see, it's holding projects. So this is a, um, a cowl or a scarf that I'm working on. I haven't touched it in a while. It's a cowl. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then I saw that one and I thought, well, let's put some brighter blues with it. So again, I went with the greens and yellows, and I've got quite a bit of green in my stash, so that's what I'm trying to burn through. Um, I made the handles a little bit different. I went with uh, more of a chain here. This is, I think, like 10, and then this went to 12, so that uh, there's a little bit more handle room. Um, and then with each one, I just kind of changed it a little bit. I think this one's still at 72 inches or 72 stitches. I mean, so then, um, my husband plays a video game that is, um, tanks, war tanks. <laughs> and, uh, his, one of his tanks that he plays is greens and purples. So sitting next to him, I got some inspiration and made this one up, which I absolutely love. Um, this one, I didn't go as high on the handle. This one I only did, you do the chain and then you go back around. So this is like one layer of single crochets. Whereas this one is two layers of single crochets. So, or actually this one is, yeah, two layers of single crochets. See, I just kept changing it up. So I, when I pick one up, I don't necessarily remember exactly what I did with it. Um, so then, I don't know where I went next, but I'll just grab this one. Um, there's another video out there and you know we all know what different shapes exist in the world so besides a round one i wanted to do an oblong one um so this one kind of starts out like you do a shoe you do a chain and then you go single cro crochet along back along it and then you do more in the end and then you crochet along the back side or the bottom side of the single crochet so then you start working this way and so this is like a rectangle um, but it works out kind of oblongish and again, I'm just grabbing yarn that I've got that I want to burn through. Um, this is three strands of yarn and I'm using an L hook. It's an eight millimeter. And if you go with uh, more, there's a video out there where I think Yarn Geek uses six strands of yarn and a Q hook or an R or something ginormous. But um, these are all just colors that I just needed to, you know, my stash, I've been crocheting for a very long time. So I've got just tons and tons and tons of stuff. As you can see behind me, there's Two more shelvings over here. Um, I'll show you those in another video. But yeah, so you just change colors as you go. Sometimes, you know, one will run out and you add a new one and who knows what you're gonna end up with when you're done. Um, but I really like this one. It's kind of oblong-y. And as you can see, there's a whole nother, whole nother uh, basket being started here. So this is what the bottom looks like. It's a little bit wonky, but it, you give it a stretch and once the sides start coming in, 
then um, it takes its shape. But see here, again, blues, purples. This one I've got four strands of yarn and I'm using an MN hook that's a nine millimeter. So um, just, you know, knock yourselves out. Do do whatever you wanna do, add whatever colors, different different weight of yarn. Um, some, some of these, one, I've already gotten a box to ship to Karen. So shh for Claire, um, but um, I used a sparkly yarn that I didn't know what else I was gonna do with it. It was just a little bit and I held it together with the rest of them and it's gorgeous. So that was the next one. Um, I kid you not, I went crazy. So this was another one. And again, these um, were kind of looking at, we've, I haven't crossed the path into too many new parts yet to talk about, but just different greens and some beiges. And it is a project bag as well. Uh, bag a day crochet is doing um, nine squares over nine weeks every Tuesday she puts out a new video and um, she's using little Sesame Street single balls that have a Sesame Street head that are meant to be like one beanie that's got like Elmo up on the top of the of the cap um, but she's making a single square out of it and I don't have those so I was just using you know oops, there's my instructions I was just using two colors of yarn to go through, you know, mimic what she was doing. So when that's done, I'll show you that one. Um, but here's just another round one. And then here was another oblong one that I was working with. It has a lot of some neon colors in there. This one I really liked between the purples and then the greens and the orange all the way through. And I just loved this one. And here again, it's make, I'm making another project. I'll show you later. So... To kind of say, you know, at this point, we've got some, here's the most two recent ones that I finished. This one I just finished last night. I love it. This strand of um, this purple and blues and this crazy yellow, that's all on one strand, one ball of yarn that just changes color. And so um, here's one where, again, I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of green yarn. So I did a bottom that was a different color because nobody's going to see that, right? Well, I mean, maybe you will. Maybe you like it. Maybe it's cool. I don't know just changing it up, keeping it fresh. Um, another thing along the bottom here that I did was try to, um, as we're increasing the rounds, I tried to pinch, I did two crochets together, two single crochets together, so that it would kind of bring that bottom back in because some of them, it just kind of blows out uh, where the bottom ring is supposed to be. See this layer here? Uh, we do that stitch, this is the bottom, and then we do a back loop only to create this lip that is supposed to be where the side goes. And so, like, this is supposed to be where the side goes, but I put so much stuff in it, it kind of stuffs out. So I thought if I did some single crochets together at the bottom, it might bring that back in and kind of give it the bag its true shape again. Um, but I don't know, just something different, play along. That's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of these, that you can just go crazy. Do whatever you wanna do. It's just a project bag, right? I mean, I love them. You can put anything in them. My sister and I gave one to David and Tori for Christmas and they've got um, cards and dice sitting in it, you know, sitting out because it's so pretty or so cute or whatever. So you really can use it for whatever. This one's one I finished on St. Patrick's Day and I did, um, it was called Yarn Chicken <laughs> because I almost ran out of that yellow yarn and but I, I made it I made it <laughs> I made I was able to finish the bag and um, the yarn did not win I won <laughs> so then let me show you these this is another one of my favorite it is just another round one but um, it, you know besides holding three strands together you can change the color as you go on purpose so I did that with this one. I wanted the yellow and then the, I mean, the orange, the, in the yellow, and then the pink in those neon colors. Look how gorgeous is that? This is one of my favorite ones. Man, that sun is brutal this morning. Okay, but the ones that I wanted to show you, the ones that I'm so excited about, here's another one that's like an oblong. That one's cute. And then, you know, again, it's, it's all what you wanna do but I tried to use two different purples here and it just looks washed out. So it's super dark purple down here and then just super light purple up here. And so it just looks like it kind of bled out or something. So I'm not, you know, play with the colors, be creative. Okay, so then I changed the style of the handle. So these were all just um, formed of the bag. Let me see if I can't help that out a little bit. Whew, okay. 
Okay, so then I found that I couldn't always, whoops, I, I found that I couldn't always hold the bag because I put too much stuff in it. So let's make a longer handle. So this is just a hole that you crochet, you know, two chains and then you skip two stitches so it can feed all the way through. And this is just a chain with half doubles. You go back over it with half doubles. So this is another one that I really, really enjoyed the color combination. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. And again, used a bunch of green. I've had this in my stash for years. What was I going to do with it? Make baskets. Okay. 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 So then this one I made super duper big. I made it with four strands and I made these huge handles on it. Love it. Because when I'm making an afghan or something that's bigger, these little bags aren't going to cut it. They won't even hold the yarn, you know, that I need to work on. So um, this one is gorgeous. I think I went up to 80 stitches on this one as well. The one I'm working on right now, that purple and blue one is going to be this big. I wanted to make another one this big because I just loved it so much. And then two, this is stitching when you go through the, um, when you go across the chain, I just went around the chain. But sometimes if you go into the stitch, it looks different. Um, I thought I might have one to show you that real quick. Here's another giant one that I was working on. But see how many I have? See what I have to show you? All these color combinations. You can do whatever. Look at this. Gorgeous. When you just have that little bit of yarn, but you don't know what to do with it, throw it together with one of these. Okay, so then this is the exciting one. It's not going to keep its shape, I know that, but I really wanted to go with a new shape. So it's the square bottom one. And again, I pinched the edges along the side to help reduce it, to help decrease it, so that it might, <clears throat> excuse me, so that it might hold its shape a little bit better. I don't know that it is, but um, this one's big. It's, I had, you know, decided how to put the handles on there because we've got all these different versions, all these different techniques. So I made a list. This was all the different kind of thing that you can make your choice on when you're making these. Um, use for the bottom extra uglier colors or add color to make a pop make it stand out handles like this or the no handle style round oblong or square tall ones or short ones you know sometimes you just want it maybe um, a little desk size so maybe you're just going to do it up about this tall and leave it just sit with no handles at all you know um, you can do a border a different border along the edge to make it fancy um, at the bottom, when you're adding, when you go from the bottom up to the side, this stitch, um, you go into the back loop only, as I said, to create this border, create this lip along the edge here, so that you can see where the defined bottom is. Um, that stitch, when you do the back loop only, you can also do the back loop and, um, there's a loop that sits behind it, um, and that would make the bottom even sturdier. So I did that on some. Sometimes this row is single crochet, sometimes it's half doubles. When you come along the top, sometimes it's single row crochets. These I made some half doubles. See how these ones are small stitches and then these ones are taller stitches. So there's just a whole bunch. You can do whatever you want with it. It's a whole lot of fun and I encourage you to get into your stash or get into your scraps and just you know, tie lengths together that don't belong together and just to see what comes out. It's a beautiful kaleidoscope of colors and you're, there's no end to what you can create. It's all about your imagination. So thank you for sitting through my basket video. Um, I will get this posted and try to, you know, hit you guys up to clear a Saturday so that we can get together again. We, it's been so long and Janet, I hope you're healing. Okay. I hope you can join us and, um, Bring of all, all of our crochet love back together. We, I know we miss each other. It's been a long time. When we first started this group, it was so wonderful. Um, so a lot has happened since then. I became a grandma. I'm working part-time now. So may have some more time to get together with you guys. So I hope you're all doing well. And I hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.